Hello everyone, welcome back to Visual Wars. I am your host Arun Prakash. Today we are diving deep into a topic that many of you have been asking me about. Which camera should I buy? Whether you are looking to step up your photographic game or just want to know if your smartphone is enough, this video is for you. We will cover everything from technical details to practical considerations. Let's get started. Buying a camera can be overwhelming with so many options out there. So let's break it down. First, ask yourself what do you need the camera for? Is it for photography, videography or both? Let's explore the key factors you should consider before making a decision. Number 1. Purpose Let's delve deeper into this. If you are primarily into photography, focus on the cameras with higher resolution sensors, which captures more detail. For instance, a 24MP camera is good, but a 45MP camera will give you even more detail, especially useful for large prints or detailed cropping. For videography, look at the cameras that support higher resolution video recordings like 4K, 6K or even 8K. Consider frame rates as well. 24 frames per second for a cinematic look, 60 frames per second for smooth motion and a higher frame rates for slow motion footages. Additionally, check if the camera offers features like lock profile or raw video which provides better flexibility in post-production. Number 2. Budget Determine your budget. Camera ranges from few thousand rupees to few lakhs. So entry-level cameras like the Canon EOS Rebel series or the Nikon D3500 are great for beginners and cost around 30,000 rupees to 40,000 rupees. Mid-range cameras like the Sony A6400 or Fujifilm X-T4 offers more advanced features and better build quality. Priced at around 70,000 rupees to a lakh rupees. Professional cameras like the Canon EOS R5 or Sony A7R4 can cost upwards of Rs 2 lakhs, but they deliver top tier performance and image quality. Remember, you will also need to budget for the lenses, memory cards, batteries and other accessories. A good lens can make a significant difference in your photography. Prime lenses with a fixed focal length like 50mm f1.8 are good for portraits, while zoom lenses like 24-70mm to f2.8 offer versatility. Number 3. New versus Used Buying a used camera can save you a lot of money, but it comes with a risk. When you're buying used camera, check the camera's condition carefully. Look for signs of wear and tear, test all the functions and if possible, check the shutter count. The shutter count indicates how many times the shutter has been released. Cameras have a rated lifespan of their shutters, typically between 1 lakh to 4 lakh actuations. Number 4. Sensor Size the sensor sizes plays a crucial role in image quality. There are three main types, full frame, APS-C and micro four thirds. Full frame sensors like those in Sony A7 series or Canon EOS R series offer the best image quality and low light performance. APS-C sensors found in cameras like the Canon EOS M50 or Nikon D7500 are smaller and more affordable but still provide excellent quality. Micro Four Thirds sensors used in Olympus and Panasonic cameras are even smaller but offer great portability and video capabilities. Number 5. Megapixel While megapixel aren't everything but they do matter, more megapixels means more details and the ability to crop images without losing quality. However, higher megapixel counts can also lead to a larger file size and more noise in low light. For most people, a resolution between 20 to 30 megapixel is more than sufficient. Number 6. Lenses the lens you choose can have a significant impact on your photography. Prime lenses with a fixed focal length like 50mm or 85mm offer sharpness and wide aperture for great low light performance and bokeh. Zoom lenses like 24-70mm to or 70-200mm to offer versatility and convenience. Consider the lenses mount and the ecosystem of lenses availability for the cameras you choose. For example, Sony's E mount, Canon's RF mount and Nikon's Z mount each have a wide range of lenses to choose from. Number 7. Autofocus System The autofocus system is crucial for capturing sharp images, especially in fast-paced situations. Look for cameras with advanced AF system including features like eye detection and subject tracking. Mirrorless cameras like the Sony A74 and the Canon EOS R6 have excellent autofocus system that rivals even the best DSLRs. Number 8. Mirrorless vs DSLR Mirrorless cameras are becoming increasingly popular due to their compact sizes, electronic viewfinder and advanced features. They also offer faster burst rate and better video capabilities. DSLRs like the Canon EOS 90D or Nikon D780 still have their place, especially for those who prefer an optical viewfinder and longer battery life. Number 9. Video features 
If you are into videography, consider the camera's video capabilities. Look for features like 4K, 6K or even 8K recording, higher frame rates for slow motion and advanced codec for better video quality. Cameras like the Panasonic GH5 and the Sony A7S III are known for their excellent video performance. Number 10. Ergonomics and Build Quality The feel of the camera in your hand is important, especially if you will be using it for a longer period. Look for a cameras with a comfortable grip, intuitive controls and durable build quality. Weather sealing is a plus if you are planning to shoot in challenging environments. Number 11. Battery Life DSLRs generally have a longer battery life compared to mirrorless cameras. However, modern mirrorless cameras are improving and you can always carry spare batteries. Cameras like the Canon EOS R5 and the Sony's A7R4 offer decent battery life for mirrorless models. Now let's talk about smartphones. Modern smartphones like the iPhone 14 and 15 series or top tier Android devices have incredible camera system. Here are some detailed advantages of using a smartphone for photography. Number 1. Portability Smartphones are incredibly compact and lightweight. They fit right in your pocket, so you can carry them everywhere without the need of additional bags or cases. This makes them perfect for spontaneous shooting and everyday use. Number 2. Always with you Because you always have your smartphone with you, you are always ready to capture any moment, whether it's a beautiful sunset, a family gathering or unexpected event. You never have to worry about missing a shot because you didn't bring your camera. Number 3. Instant Sharing Smartphones allow you to edit and share your photos instantly with built-in editing tools and apps. You can enhance your images and post them to social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook or Twitter right away. This instant connectivity is huge advantage for those who love sharing their moments in real time. Number 4. User Friendly Smartphones are designed to be easy to use. The camera app typically offers an intuitive interface, automatic settings and smart features like scenes recording and HDR to help you get the best shots without needing to understand the complex camera settings. Number 5. Advanced Features Modern smartphones come equipped with the advanced features like multiple lenses, night mode, portrait mode and AI enhancements. These features can produce stunning results that rival dedicated camera in many situations. Number 6. Integrated Ecosystem Your smartphone is not just your camera, it's also your editing device and communication tool. You can shoot, edit and share all from one device. This integration simplifies your workflow and makes the process of creating and sharing the content seamless. Number 7. Cost Effective Investing in a high-end smartphone can be more cost effective than buying a dedicated camera, lenses and accessories. Plus, you are getting a multifunction device that serves you as a phone, internet browser, GPS and more. Smartphones are incredibly convenient. You always have them with you. They are lightweight and they allow you to shoot and instantly share to on social media. No extra gear to carry, no need to backup photos to computer and no additional batteries to charge. However, dedicated cameras do have their advantages. Number 1. Image Quality Cameras typically have the larger sensors, which means better image quality, especially in low light. Number 2. Lens Variety You can swap lenses to suit different types of photography, from wide angles to telephoto. Number 3. Manual Control More precise control over settings like aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Number 4. Battery Life Camera often have a longer battery life for shooting compared to smartphones. For many people, the convenience and capabilities of the smartphones are more than enough. Here are some reasons why you might not need to invest in a camera. Number 1. Simplicity If you are not looking to get into the technical aspects of photography, a smartphone is perfect. It's designed to be user-friendly and does a lot of the work for you with intelligent settings and automatic adjustments. Number 2. No extra gear Carrying a camera, lenses, batteries and other accessories can be cumbersome, especially when traveling. With a smartphone, you have everything you need in one device. Number 3. Maintenance Camera require maintenance such as cleaning the sensor and lenses, updating firmware and managing storage with memory cards. Smartphones simplify this with cloud backups and minimum maintenance required. Number 4. Cost Investing in a good camera along with the lenses and accessories can be expensive. If you are not serious about photography, it might not be worth the investment when your smartphone can already take excellent photos. 
Number 5. Professional Services For those special occasions or professional needs, hiring a professional photographer can be a better option. They have the expertise and the equipment to deliver high quality results, allowing you to focus on enjoying the moment. In conclusion, whether you go for a dedicated camera or stick with your smartphone depending on your needs and preferences. If you are serious about photography or videography, investing in a good camera might be worth it. But if you are just capturing the moment on the go, your smartphone might be all you need. Remember, the best camera is the one you have with you. So, weigh the pros and cons, consider your budget and needs and make the choice that's right for you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and insights. I'm Arun Prakash and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Happy shooting.